WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around negative territory. S&Ps right now, negative by nine points, trading at 28.85. We get the NASDAQ, negative by 40 points, trading at 77.96. Dow Jones, negative by 34 points, trading at 26,072. Chip stocks getting hit hard today. Broadcom, we have AMG down as well on Broadcom's numbers. We'll get into those in a moment. Dollar index with some strength, up 541 ticks at 97,050. 97 handle on that dollar index again. Gold contract catching a bit, up seven dollars at 13.50 and 60 cents. Had been as high as 13.61 at one point. Silver still struggling in negative territory, off about two pennies at 14.86. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures market. We'll start it off with the S&P. S&P futures looking at the June contract, currently trading at 28.85. Five. Quite a little sell-off on the opening bell from 28.89. We reach a lower end point intraday of 28.80, right in the middle of that range for the S&P. Dow 30, a little bit of a different story. We get the sell-off on the opening bell. We're back up kind of right where we were trading at, at the trading day begin, 26,085. NASDAQ 100 trading at 74.80. We were up there at about 9.30, pretty similar level of 74.83 coming into the opening bell. Gold contract, there's some volatility. We reached that high, as I referenced, 1361 and almost made it to 1362 at about 3 a.m. Eastern time. You're seeing a pullback as we speak, though, with gold trading at 1349.57. There's your crude oil chart, catching a bid 52.76, up about a dollar from early this morning. It was trading at 51.70. And euro, U.S. dollar, we'll get... Dollar index up about 500 ticks, seeing a dramatic pullback in the euro. Euro trading at 112.04, about to dip into a 111 handle on that euro. I talked about the chip stocks. They're taking a beating, that's for sure. Broadcom's revenue falling to 5.52. Expectation had been 5.68. The big number is that they said their fiscal year for 2019, they almost shaved $2 billion. 2260, 2431 billion was what they were looking for. And to jump over to that, AVGO Broadcom down about 6.6% on that number. And to jump over real quick, gold and silver. Silver, the laggard. Since the beginning of 2017, check out that comparison. Silver would have to be trading at $19 to have the move that gold has from that time. Silver lagging badly. Stay tuned, folks. Live program at TFNN all day. Have a great Friday.